So I'm trying this new thing out. I have some I don't know what I don't know really what to call it. Non fight fight updates. So it's like non fight fighter updates. fighter updates. Yeah, so it's it's kinda like some MMA non fight news. Yeah, so we gotta figure out a cool name for that. But while I was trying to figure out a cool name, I found two kinda cool things, kinda interesting uh, fighter updates. So Brian Ortega took to Twitter. Oof. Yeah, you know where this is going. Oof. So he started off saying uh, it was, of course, related to a Paulo Costa Costa tweet with uh, him and Tracy Cortez from this past Friday. And it was just a selfie. It was harmless. Right. So Brian Ortega decided to tweet, and I quote, Everyone out here talking about I fumbled. Y'all must not know the rules of the game. When you drop the ball on accident, that's a fumble. But when you throw it away on purpose, that's called a complete pass. Top G shit. Okay, so let me break that down for you. When you drop the ball on accident, that's a fumble. Correct. But when you throw it away on purpose, that's called a complete pass. Incorrect. That's actually called a complete pass. Now, I will say that earlier in this episode, I was saying that I am a noted Brian Ortega hater. So let me lean into that a little bit. Not only did Brian Ortega fumble his ex fiance Tracy Cortez, he fumbled that tweet. He fumbled his last two fights, one of which was to Alex Volkanovsky, who he could have beat with that choke, but he didn't. Uh, he fumbled his loss by injury, I'll say, to Yair Rodriguez. And on top of all that, he's going to say top G shit. So now he's going to align close with Andrew Tate, who was just put in jail or house arrest with a, under the inception for rape. Is he swearing off women? I don't really know what's happening. What do you think? He made... The number one mistake you can make as a celebrity slash famous person, person, which is let the haters and the trolls know you're reading the comments. Because this tweet was totally a response from everybody else's, everybody else's reaction to Paula Costa's picture. Right. And look, if, if he wouldn't have said anything, this would have blown over. Because he addressed it and addressed it in a horrible douchebaggy way, right. he just dug his grave. So not, not only not do you great, know, he... not know the rules of the NFL, you don't understand when somebody's just trolling you. Paulo Costa went on Twitter and he said, now granted, he is his self-proclaimed meme god status, which he is funny, I'll say that. He went on Twitter just saying that he was joking. You know, that was his Friday I girl. don't even think he was trying to uh No, he was him. backing it away was, by saying was I, was, I was just joking. And the people that in the replies that were that were right. trolling him, and he responded to him, which is the number one anything he posts online now, any online presence he has, this is going to be brought up from here on out, which is unfortunate for him, funny for the rest of us. Yeah, with him with him aligning any any way with Andrew Tate, though. How long until the Matrix comes for Ortega next? <laughs> you say that, but you don't know. I don't. 